there is an energy, whether you want to believe it or not, of a place. The people that live there a lot of times share that similar kind of ideology, energy, feeling, kind of reverence of nature. We're all searching for a very specific flavor from a very specific place. Sometimes you have to go a little off the beaten path to get what you're looking for. You want to make sure that not necessarily my legacy, but our legacy of the time that we're here is when we leave, it's better. The guests that are going to be here for this dinner, they're a part of something special. I think Nico and I hit on the same level um, that he just thinks outside of the box. He wants to pave a new path on how to do things, respects traditions, but also isn't afraid to push them a little bit. The importance to showing Nico around Mali was so he can get a sense of my place and understand how that fuels my creative process. There's this new generation of Hawaii chefs that are aligned with that concept of showing Hawaii through the lens of Hawaiian people. Man, there's only one Hawaii. When you get to spend time and see the backyard and the secret spots, it's special. I always feel honored to go out there. You always got to say thank you when you leave. There's definitely a synergy between California and Hawaii. I feel that there's a lot of places in this country, probably in this world even, that people don't have a connection to the place. California is a place that people do connect here. They care about it. And of course, this is the place, the Mecca, where it all started, that farm to table movement almost 50 years ago. When you're foraging, you have to be very thoughtful. You can't take too much from any place or otherwise it goes away. You have to have respect for Mother Nature, and then you can have enough for people after you, future generations. This is when a vintage begins. This is like the new beginnings of the year. When you're pruning, you gotta treat a vine like a sculpture. You gotta look forward. It's that kind of, make sure you're making the right decisions for the people downstream. Being able to go walk in a vineyard, it's like taking someone into, giving them a tour of your kitchen in a sense. What I'm big on and I feel really translates well into the food is that concept of really putting into an edible form Hawaiian cultural values and creating dishes that use the fundamentals of just how they approach life. I try to do my part by just really supporting local farmers, local fishermen, sourcing products that are unique. Synergy between food and wine is really important. I think that some point along the road, we got a little away from that, but it's never really been that way for history. It's wine and food. We're not gonna recreate this. You can't recreate this. We're not gonna be able to go out and forage for chanterelles again and get what we got. We're not gonna be able to get the same fish that we have and the vintage of the wines that we have. I want people to feel like they've experienced something one of a kind. If someone can walk away after having a meal that I've prepared, learning something that they didn't know before and also having great food as a win. To me, it's really embodying community. I think that the collaboration and the friendship that we've started, it's really humbling to be a part of that. I mean, there's a lot of people and a lot of thought that has gone into this. And, you know, you walk away and you want people to feel like they've been a part of something special.